hi guys welcome back so today we are going to learn one new concept called explicit name okay so there might be a scenario okay where you have the controls in the web page which is having same properties okay more than one control which is having same properties okay and we want to work on those controls in that case we can make use of a concept called explicit name okay so today we are going to see that how we utilize explicit name concept in such scenarios okay so i have opened a website called demo web shop okay when i click on apparel and shoes you will see it is displaying different uh, products and uh, add to cart buttons so here we have multiple add to cart buttons okay and we want to perform action on this buttons okay let me just scan it quickly so here i have add to cart button okay so once i click on add to cart buttons you will see a message here one item is not unique the selected item is not unique the reason for this message is because this button is having property called value add to cart tag as input and we have other buttons also with the same name and the same property because of the, this reason it is showing this current item which we have selected is not unique so we will utilize this ex explicit concept okay explicit name concept and we'll make it unique and then we will perform action on it just focus on my screen for few minutes then you will be understanding the concept of explicit name okay let me just save it let it be not unique okay i just saved here add to cart okay let me drag and drop okay let me rename it explicit name demo so now we have add to cart button let me simply just give click and try to give for run okay logically it should fail because tosca will not be able to identify which add to cart button it has to click because there are multiple add to cart buttons My test case has failed just see the error message what it is display more than one control found for action add to cart which was expected okay now we have to make this control unique okay so in tosca we have one x module property level attribute uh, parameter sorry not attribute it's called configuration parameter at the module level okay that is called explicit name just go to your module okay select the control and just right click on this it will show different options available we have to go for create configuration parameter just give the name explicit name explicit name and we have to provide the value as true okay as soon as we provide the explicit name as true what tosca will do see before before we define this explicit name you won't be able to change this text okay you won't be able to modify anything here okay as soon as i will provide explicit name then i can change this text and i can provide like hash 2 hash 2 this explicit name concept will work as same as like index we have seen uh, while identifying the objects using index we will provide one of suppose five objects are there we are selecting one of five two of five three of five like that 
so that goes like identify by index but here what we will do directly we'll provide the index in the test level okay i have given has to means i am expecting tosca to go and search for second add to cart button and click on that okay so i have given has to then click operation just give a run and check whether this will work or not it clicked on second add to cart button you will see a blue and green sneaker let me go back and see blue and green sneaker okay so with the help of explicit name we are able to work on the objects which is having same name same properties okay so let's try one more i want to click on third add to cart button that blue jeans okay just let me give for run invoke the browser clicked on the third add to cart button it has been the product has been added to the cart okay it clicked on third button and my test case is passed okay so this is how we can use the explicit name at the module level okay at the module level to identify the objects uniquely and you can perform the action Okay, okay that